So this is the street of official town, Ashaiman. This is where we understand some military men came to brutalize residents of this community Tuesday dawn, uh, in semblance to how some of the three judges were killed in the regime, in the military regime were picked up. We are told somebody will knock your door, and then when you come out, you are picked. And there, some of them were brought to this joint where they are asked to lie down. Some of these residents have been telling Joy News the troubling experience they, 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 they had at the hands of these military men. You are here. Tell us what really happened. Oh, personally, I don't know what really happened, though, because every blessed day we do go work and every day. So this dawn, I was just in the when a lady in my house shouted, Obin Jimmy. So we came out, tried to find out what is happening. So immediately we came out, gun is being pointed at us, and they ask us to lie down. So as in the process of lying down, they start hitting us with wire, wood log, and metallics and stuff. From there, they march us from the house to the street, to sleep on the street, to roll. The, in the process of rolling, too, they are hitting us. And they send us to a tea junction at the top here. That's where we went and met a lot of men are being kept there. So we were asked to do arm pressing and stuff, roll on the floor. On the process of doing all those things, they use a metallic. I don't know what sort of metallic is that. And they use it to hit my arm in the process of doing the press up. So as you can see, there's a swelling aspect of my arm mm. than this one. Mm. And even yeah. if you look up, uh, yeah, those are the marks. We were mm. indoor. Mm. This man and I, and the, the third person is in right now. I don't know what is happening to it. Because by the, that, the third person is not wearing anything, only boxer. Mm. Only boxers is wearing, so their own is much terrible than mine. Wow. Yeah. And, and you were not told anything, you weren't, you weren't told what you've done. So as we, we, we lie down, they are brutalizing us. The, the question they are asking, who asked you to kill the military man? And I was like, I don't know what they are talking about. I know nothing about what they were saying. So they even used PVC pipe to hit my head. Wow. And it broke into two. Thank you. So let's still uh, speak to more people who um, are victims to this brut brutalization that has just occurred. Uh, there's another man here, I'm told. He's also been subjected, or he was also subjected to uh, these beatings by the military men. Chief, uh, grateful. Uh, you, tell us your deal as well. Narrate to us what happened to you. Yeah, okay. I was in a room. I was sleeping. So I heard the woman's voice shouting. Then, to I wake up, I was sitting on the bed. Then I heard my door knock. So I wake up and I open the door. I did not see anybody. So I open the trap door. Then I, I get out. So when I get to the, I when I get outside, then I, I couldn't see anybody. Before I knew there was a military man standing there. And when I, I saw these people were lying on the day, then they said I should come. So the time he knocked the door, he go and hide so that you will not see her. So then they said I should come. So they said, what am I doing here? So, I am working here, I'm working with this company. And they did not even allow me to say anything. They started beating us, oh, beat us, let us rule on the ground. From the house, then they, they brought us here, three of us. Then we came and met one of the guys too. Then they marched us to that side. They beat us, let us do the exercise, even our head and our neck. That we get mined and kill a uh, military man. We get mined and kill military man. So I was... Bear chested like this, and they say, Oh, then yeah, you get body too. Three of your children have been taken away. Yes, please. What were you told? Well, around 5 30 at dawn, I went to funeral at my village, Ziaviho. So the eldest one called me, that Daddy, the soldiers have come, they were banging the gate. Where are you? And I told her, We have not yet come. He said, No, they are banging the gate. They are first opening it. We said, Don't worry, we'll see what we can do. Just before then, he said, ah, they have entered the house. They have gone into my room. I said, what is happening? He said, hey, then we are hearing the banging. Bah, bah, bah. Ah. Before we realized, we cannot hear from him. When we call, the phone is not going. We don't know what's happened. So we have to call neighbors. We call neighbors to see what is going on. Eventually, I realized that three of them have been forcibly taken. And armed civilians. What crime have they committed? We don't know. So I have to leave whatever I'm doing to rush down. 
right now I'm coming and then this is where you are meeting me in the house. They first opened five of the doors, used a catapult to break some of the louvre frames and the glasses. Yes, and then broken all the levers around. A lot of things have been, mis I mean, it's a hazard in the house. One of them, one of, there were four, one of them managed to escape with bruises. You have seen it yourself. They back all, they use whatever they get to beat them up. In fact, it is not an, a good thing. Very, very mesmerizing. So as we speak, do you know where they took your children? No place. No news about them. Their phones have been seized. How can I contact them? Yes. So I don't know where they are now. I don't know. And I don't know what to do. So I'm going to report at the police station officially that my children have been abducted from the house. So that we'll take it from there. Some of the residents who were picked up from their rooms in this neighborhood were asked to swim in, in rainwaters in this environment. Now, the people in this area are asking for one thing, that government and the military hierarchy will delve into this matter and ensure that all the military men who are involved in this are brought to book. But will this ever happen, and when will this happen? Nobody can tell, but it lies in the womb of time. From Taifa in Ashaiman, for Joy News, I am Samuel Kojobrace.